Γεια σας! This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. The European Commission's top economics official said on Friday that time is running out for Greek politicians to reach an agreement on backing the economic adjustment program in order to deal with Greece's debt crisis. Mr. Rand said in a statement, We expect that the efforts towards a cross-party agreement to support the EU IMF program will continue. An agreement has to be found soon, as time is running out. The magnitude of the challenge is a test to the Greek society as a whole and therefore requires a contribution by all parties and all citizens. His comments came after Greek Prime Minister George Papandreou failed to convince opposition leaders on Friday to support tougher austerity measures to free up EU IMF aid needed to avert a debt default. The magnitude of the challenge is a test of the Greek society as a whole and therefore requires a contribution by all parties and all citizens, Ren said. The National Coordinating Committee Against Smoking announced in a press conference on Wednesday that the percentage of smokers in the annual cigarette consumption in Greece recorded a steady, notable and impressive decline in recent years. This marks the occasion of the World No Tobacco Day, celebrated on May 31st. Speaking about the implementation of the anti-smoking legislation in the country, Deputy Health Minister Michalis Timosidis underlined the problems and difficulties of implementing this legislation. According to figures concerning the past four years, rates of smoking has fallen by 10.8%, while more careful examination showed that a larger reduction in smoking rates was in younger age groups. There was also a 6.3% reduction in annual tobacco consumption in Greece after 2007. The reduction in cigarettes consumed during the last year was nearly 15%. After the successful Los Indignados protest in Spain, where thousands of Facebook users gathered peacefully to protest against the economic crisis, members of the social network in Greece have now followed suit. Syndagma Square, amply named after the Greek word constitution, became jam-packed with protesters long before 6 p.m. last Wednesday, which was the official time for the protest to begin. Thousands of Facebook users, mostly young people, accepted the invitation sent out over the network within minutes. More spontaneous peaceful protests followed throughout the week. Organizers and protesters called the protest Indignant as Sidagma and claimed they want to send a message to protest against all those who have led the country to its present situation and the grave crisis every citizen is facing. Facebook, often singled out for criticism in the past through the media, proves its influence in a positive light as it brings together people and their strength in numbers. Another 5,000 gathered in the northern city of Thessaloniki and similar protests were also planned in the cities of Patras, Ioannina, Iraklio and others. Let's see what's going on in the USA. Ellis Island of New York City is the symbol of the migrant movement in the USA. The location will host the 2011 Gabby Awards, a three-day celebration and award show honoring prominent members of Greek American society. The star-studded ceremony will take place on June 4th and will honor the most important Greek Americans in business, politics, arts, sports, charity and promotion of Hellenism. The event highlights individuals who stand out and continue to have a relationship with their cultural heritage. More than a thousand Greek Americans are expected to attend the Gabby Awards. Let's move on to Hollywood now. The fifth annual Los Angeles Greek Film Festival has announced their five-member jury who will be selecting the Orpheus Award winners out of 20 films that will be screening competition this year. The jury consists of Alex Hago, Director of Programming and Special Projects at USC School of Cinematic Arts, film critic Robert Kohler, cinematographer Johnny E. Jensen, Associate Professor of Critical Studies at USC School of Cinematic Arts Aniko Imre, and Director Lev El Spiro. 
The jury will announce the award winners on Sunday, June 12, at the closing night gala at the Writers Guild Theatre in Beverly Hills. In addition, the festival has announced the seven panelists who will participate in the Crossing Borders Foreign Films in Hollywood panel, which will take place on Saturday, June 11, at 10.30 a.m. The panel will be moderated by Variety Deputy Editor Peter Karanikas. This panel will address questions of the future potential of foreign films in the broader international market, including issues such as international representation and the use of alternative distribution and marketing resources. Moving on to Australia now. The President of the Republic of Cyprus, Dimitri Christofias, currently visited Australia, had a meeting on Wednesday with the Prime Minister of Australia, Julia Gillard. During the meeting, the Prime Minister expressed Australia's support for a solution to the Cyprus problem based on the United Nations Security Council's resolution. The United Nations Security Council's resolution will reunify Cyprus within the framework of a bi-zonal, bi-communal federation with one single sovereignty, one single international personality and one single citizenship. For more news and updates, don't forget to visit us at GreekReporter.com. Have a wonderful week and don't forget, Greeks are everywhere!